Hi team, it's Mr. McQuaid from Action Karate and today I wanted to do a live video about um, a current book I'm reading. It's uh, The Good Neighbor. It's a uh, book all about uh, the life and work of Mr. Rogers and it's by Maxwell King. It's a really good book. Um, it's really long. I don't usually read books that long. I'm not even halfway done. I was, uh, I struggle a little bit with books like over like 200 or 300 pages. I know you might think like, that's not, that's nothing, but I don't usually read books that long. But anyway, this is like almost 400 pages and I'm really having a hard time. Luckily, I'm a month ahead of my goal. Not a month, but as long as I finish this book before the end of April, I'm at four books um, in four months and then I'm on track to reach my goal for 12 out of 12 for 2020. But anyway, I read something in this book and I thought it was really interesting. Um, I'm going to repeat it to you guys really quick. I'm not going to read you the book, but basically... It said, uh, let's see here, <clears throat> and I quote, in Victorian times, children were viewed as rather annoying miniature adults and the infant and toddler years were thought of as a difficult period that parent and child alike should get through as quickly as possible. So I just thought that was really interesting, right? Because obviously, you know, we're not in Victorian times and obviously we are a lot, um, our child development as a whole has t t developed immensely s since then, of course, right? You don't need me to, t to tell you that. But I was just thinking as a, as a uh, future parent, I'll be welcoming my first child in September and I'm super stoked about it. And I just like, I'm really excited about every aspect of it. I know there's gonna be times when um, I'm not as excited and stressed and tired and just like worn down. And But I'm gonna try to remind myself that you know, uh, this isn't a time to rush through. This isn't a time to get through as quick as possible, right? It's a time to cherish because you're, you're never gonna have that time back. And I think I've heard enough parents over the years, like, oh, I wish they were still this young or I wish they were still this small. I think I've heard enough parents over the years to where I'm pretty confident that I'm gonna be able to at least try to do my best to cherish that time and and uh, allow the, the, the good to outweigh the bad. But you know, I thought that was really interesting. Um, so my question for you guys as a reflection of the, of the day is how, especially in this crazy time where you are trapped with your kids 100% of the time, um, or at least most of the time. Hey David, how you doing sir? Are you excited for AEW Dynamite tonight? What's up Mr. M, how you doing there? Please tell me that you're not driving while watching this. Hey Paul, what's up buddy? Um, so anyway, uh, I just thought it was really interesting and my challenge for you guys is uh you know with your children are you are you like trying to rush through and just get through every day or are you actively trying to find something to to, to teach them to enjoy with them and and to grow together as a family hello sir definitely not driving i appreciate that i was worried about you yesterday you scared me i'll tell you gotta tell miss ashley to, to yell at you even more Hey, Mr. McCarthy, how you doing, sir? So anyway, for those who are just signing on, just a quick recap, you can watch the replay, I'll post it. But um, basically the book, The Good Neighbor, talked about how in Victorian times, children were um, thought to be miniature annoying adults and that uh, uh, the first few years of a child's life is meant to be gotten through as quickly as possible by child and by parent, right? So so watch the replay. Again, my challenge is take some time, actually spend some time, don't just try to get through it, right? Try to really enjoy it and invest your time with your child. Not just spend it or throw it away, but invest it, cool? In, investing in the relationship, all right? Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Ch check this book out if you can. Again, it's a really long book. It's like a bazillion pages. Um, I'm uh, Hopefully, I'll keep you guys posted, but I'm, I'm going to try to finish it before the end of April to keep my goal. All right. Take care, guys. Hope you guys have a wonderful Wednesday, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey, Christine. Good to see you. Bye, guys.